Good day, folks. I figured if you're gonna get wet, you might as well go swimming. I'm making videos on everything I do on the farm here. This video is on how to fix your worm gear on a 435 Husqvarna. Originally, the chainsaw started working a little sluggish. I thought it might have been the chain, and I was even at the point of thinking about buying a new chain. But what it came down to was the, the bar and chain were not getting enough oil to keep that saw cutting good. So I've already taken the chainsaw apart. I know the problem. I've actually put it back together so that way I don't lose parts. And the worm gear right here. And while we're at it, we're gonna change out the clutch bearing too just because we're doing something, we're gonna make her work top notch. She deserves to work top notch. All in all, it's a very simple fix, very simple job. Uh, there are specialty tools you can use. We won't be using any because I'm a farmer and I like to do it the hard way. And it's not necessarily the hard way, but the old fashioned way, a little bit of fucking toughness. So this is Bertha. And how I noticed the problem was that you should have to top up the barrel on your chainsaw every second time you top up the gas, okay? So that's when I noticed there was something wrong because I was going three, four tanks of gas before I had to top up the barrel. That's instant sign that there's something going on. And what I thought originally was a plug in the line became, it was much worse. So I'll show you guys what's going on here. The first and most easiest step, make sure your brake is off. That's what I like to do. Make sure your brake is off. This guy comes out next. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna say if you're smart like me or if you're dumb like me, when you're taking something apart, put it left to right when you lay it down. So you always know which part comes next. Next is the chain and the bar. Now, when it comes to the small stuff like that, it's not small stuff as such, but it's something that comes off all the time and you know exactly where it goes and what it does. So you don't have to do it that way. I like to take that pile of stuff. Shock it! No, I'm kidding. Just lay that down there. My God, it's January, January 3rd, and it's too hot to be in my greenhouse. I don't mean it's too hot for plants to grow but I mean like holy crap man it's hot it always is that's it she's warming up she's warming up boys she's warming up this is where your oil comes out of your chainsaw so originally if you think that you've got trouble you're not getting an adequate oil it's a good idea to start here and try and clean this out this is the line that comes from the pump and the little piston right here this is where your oil comes out so the next step, we gotta get this clutch off. Super simple too. They put little, like you can use the specialty tool in here and it'll get it off, but they've put little ridges here for you to put a cold cut and it even says off in the direction. So some people like to take the back of the chainsaw apart right here, get at spark plug, take spark plug out and jam rope down in there. But if you're old classic, traditional newfie like myself, you know, you do it right, that thing's coming off. Now this is if where you, if you're not used to doing stuff like this, this is where I suggest you lay stuff down left to right in the order you took it off. So you know when you put it back together, it goes back together right. Boom, there's a piece of clutch, which is the cover. Now this can actually stay in there for now. Bearing, which we are replacing today. It's gonna be hard for you guys to tell, but my bearing is war. So the old one, that's the one I like to chuck it. But I can't. Even there. It's a new one, we gotta go get some hard grease to put on that before we put it in there too. Now when I originally took apart the chainsaw to find the problem, this here, this here guy, this is your worm gear. This here 
is totally stripped out and it's gonna be hard to see. They're stripped out. The clutch, there's ridges on the clutch. These ridges right here, here and here, line up with the ridges that are here and here. You can see that the old one, the ridges are wore off completely compared to the new one, right? So that's what we're replacing today. I'd like to further note that I was having some trouble with my piston sticking too for the pump. I'm gonna call it a piston and a gear. I don't know what you wanna call it, but there's a little gear down inside of here. You see that? He needs to be free. I had trouble, he used to stick. I took it all apart. In order to get this here cover off, you're so, you, there's literally one step left to taking this cover off, and that's right here. I'm gonna fucking do it just to show you. So if you want to go ahead a little further, you're not replacing the worm gear, you're replacing the pump, or you wanna get a good look at the pump, it's one screw right there. The only thing that holds this cover, this silver cover on, is that one screw and then the pressure of the bar is what also holds it. So it's just one little screw. This cover comes off. And now you can see the little, I call it a piston. I'm sure it's not the right term. But you got this little guy here. I had him out and I greased him up to free him up because he was seized up just like the, the worm gear was. And so the oil comes from your tank right here. This spins. There's two holes on either side of this end of this shaft inside the cylinder that picks up the oil, throws it out through your oiler. Okay? But we don't need to fix anything right now. I've got all that freed up. So now you guys see what you gotta do to take it apart. Right? And you know what? I'll take this out now just to show you. There you go. There it is. As you can see, I'm saturated in oil, which is good. I just was not getting any oil up into my bar, which is, which is no good. So we've got all that taken care of. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Now, because I've laid it out left to right, I know exactly what parts go back next. Gonna have to bear with me here because we're gonna go and get some hard grease for the parts that I want to grease. Because all I have right now is loosening oil, and I don't want loosening oil, I want some, some hard grease. I've got the hard grease. Another thing I like to do anytime I get this deep into a chainsaw, I just spit everywhere. Anytime I get this deep into a chainsaw, this is the time to give her a good deep clean. And sometimes in life, things get, you know, a little hectic and stuff. You still got to take care of your equipment. This chainsaw is the livelihood of my greenhouse. I heat my greenhouse with a wood furnace. And I cut those trees with a chainsaw. Woo! So, she's not perfect, but she's a lot better than what she was. Cover plates. Super simple, it goes right back on where he came out. Screw. Put it in a hole. Put the screw in the hole, hole and screw in the screw in the hole in the hole and screw, screw the hole. This is our new worm gear. Nice compared to the old one, hey? 
<laughs> so next time you think your chainsaw is not cutting good, dig a little deeper into looking at the chainsaw versus trying to sharpen up the chain. Super simple. It goes back in. There's our new bearing. Chapow! It just goes on here. Boop beep. Oh, that feels so good. When something goes on, right, and moves freely, it's beautiful. So, you make sure when you're doing this part, take this piece out, I'll show you guys. Got my bearing on there, right? This groove right here now, a little groove, has to line up with this groove. Just like that. This guy goes on. Yeah. Counterclockwise. He comes off clockwise. He goes on counterclockwise. Get him to a nice tight point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for getting in past this metal piece and all the gunk, you know, the hard stuff. Like, from here on out, if you know how to use a chainsaw, you should be able to do this part. Right? I don't think I need to walk, baby. I'm not gonna hold your hand through the whole thing. I showed you how to take this part apart. You don't know how to take off this much. You shouldn't be using the chainsaw because you don't know how to take care of your own equipment. At this point, I'll leave you on your own to figure it out for yourselves. But I do want to mention that because we don't have specialty tools, there's no way we can tighten this any tighter with a tool. When you're at this stage now, all you need to do is put your bar and your chain on, put it all back together tight and hard, start her up, give her a shot of fuel, and then lock her. Give her a shot of fuel and then lock her. When she locks, she'll jam, and that'll cause that clutch to it'll cause all this to tighten up Thank you.